you on Snapchat. In case Gosh, you know, I mean, pay attention. As right. if, like, I haven't said it enough how obsessed with Snapchat I am. There's new filters. Oh, boy. All right, guys. So we have roughly, tw- no, 15, 18 minutes until I have to depart for class. So we're going to just do one little last just like segment with you guys today, like unfortunately. Right away. Do you see that? <laughs> The new That's so perfect. geotag is perfect, okay? Empire premieres tonight. I didn't even know this, but it's tonight at 9, and the new geotag on Snapchat is perfect for the gems right now, so go check it out. Yes. Okay, so um, we're going to do my first wa- story for the day. Um, so for those of you who don't know, if anyone's not aware, Matt Harvey was announced to be the Mets opening day starter over in Kansas City. Um but he, for a brief moment, for like a hot sack, he was scratched from the lineup because of an illness not related to his arm. So that was good off the first thing because, you know, if he wasn't feeling well, you would rather it not be to do with his arm because then that would be really, really bad and really upsetting. But what had happened was he had a, a clot in his bladder. That's what you heard. Yeah, yeah, a clot in his bladder. So you heard that correctly. Um, but he was cleared to play for opening day, so he's back in the lineup, he's back in the, on the mound that day, so that's good, but, um, he s- had spoken to, uh, Adam Rubin of ESPN, and he said that to, that it's not really gonna be a threat or anything to really, like, uh, be, uh, cautious of in the future, but what he will be doing in the future, and this might be a little gross because, like, it's bodily function, whatever, but, um, He said that in order to avoid this from happening again, he will have to urinate more frequently and make sure that he drinks a lot of water so he can keep everything flowing the way it needs to be flowing. So, it's a good thing he's okay. I'm glad because, you know, the Dark Knight needs to be in Gotham. You know? know. Oh, yeah, the Dark Knight. I know this. I'm over the trend. (laughs) Um, and then the second, what do we got? Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I can't speak today either. I'm sorry, my allergies, like, I woke up this morning and I was just, like, coughing. My nose was stuffy and itchy and I was like, uh. So, I don't have any medicine Same. on me, though, so that's a little sad, but I apologize. Um, so then what I got next for you is Terry Collins is, uh, debating on how to formulate his outfield. Because last season, as we saw, when Cespedes joined the lineup, they uh, they would flip-flop Cespedes and Ligares in center and left, depending on who was pitching. So, if it was, I think, a lefty, Ligares played left, and Cespedes played center. I don't really get why, but whatever. Um, so, yeah, they're trying to debate on who's going to play where. And um, I'm opening up the story right now. It, hopefully it loads. There we go, it loaded. Okay, so where did the little paragraph go? Okay, so it's according to Adam Rubin again of ESPN. He says that, um, hello, Ernesto and Mikey Platos. I think we should just, like, make them, like, a part, like, I mean, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Okay, back to my story before I was really interrupted by these two. Back to your sports. <laughs> um... Adam Rubin writes that although Juan Ligares got exposure to left field during spring training with Cespedes remaining in center field, manager Terry Collins indicated Tuesday that he probably would remain with the more conventional alignment during the regular season. That means whenever the Mets face a left-handed starting pitcher, Ligares should be in center field with Cespedes in left field. I'm sorry, I switched it up by accident. Um, the alignment leaves a pair of players at the positions where they previously had won gold gloves. And then he goes on to say that for right field, whenever Curtis Grandison needs a break, um, it's unlikely that Conforto, that Conforto, I sorry, I can't speak today. Like I just said, uh, will be will not be taking in right field, and, and they're gonna have to uh, work around with that. But it might be Eric Campbell and left, and shifting Lagares over to right. So it's gonna be like a whole, I guess, testing time from now until maybe the middle of the first month of, of play. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully it goes well. I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Um, and another thing that kind of like annoyed me that I saw today on ESPN was that um, the predictions for this season's World Series. I mean, as I said earlier, I still have faith in the Mets no matter what. Like, how can you not have faith in your team and all? But... Uh, <laughs> um, 
I'm a little fearful that with the the trading system that or the what the trades that went down and everything and who wasn't signed that we're not gonna be first. I mean, I would like to hope that we are gonna be first, but um, I would say that if we are not going to make the playoffs or not going to be in the World Series, I would think that the next best team or the next team that would be there would be the Chicago Club Cubs. Bleh, Cubs. Um, I mean, I don't know. The, the next two teams that are up there are the Nationals and the Giants, but I don't. I'm just not sure if there if those teams can compete because I mean Bryce Harper is great. Yeah, don't get me wrong, but if he's hurt, he's like a loose cannon. If he gets hurt, he's done. Like there's really no stopping him. There's re- not really much controlling him sometimes. Um, Strasburg is overrated. He's washed up. He's done. He really didn't even have like a great stint in the MLB in my eyes. And then Murphy being traded from the Mets to the Nationals, I don't think he's going to do very well there. I I just don't think that the chemistry is going to be there. I think he would be better off staying in New York. But you know what? Whatever. We'll just have to see what happens. But then on the AL side, the predictions were the Blue Jays um, and the Rangers, I believe, was what I saw. Is it the Blue Jays and the Rangers or the Rangers and uh, the Royals? So... I agree with the with the Blue Jays and the the Royals. I definitely think that those two teams are the top, and I do also think that the Astros are gonna be a, the team to beat. So I mean, my eyes are gonna be on uh, the Royals, the Blue Jays, and the Astros, and on the NL, it's gonna be obviously on the Mets, and then the Nationals and um, uh, the Cubs. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for reminding me. I'm sorry. I'm so scatterbrained right now. Uh, it was Poland. Yeah, I was in Poland for spring break, guys. I was away for the whole week. So. She went to Auschwitz. Yeah, I was in Auschwitz 1 and 2. So uh, we went to Auschwitz and then we went to Krakow. And then we went to uh, Wadowice, where Pope John Paul II was born. So it was great. It was a great time to be you alive, guys. You saw Pope John Paul? Oh, I went to his house. Yeah, he's been deceased for a few years. I didn't mean that. I meant our Pope, and since you said John Paul, it came out, like, it was, like, subconsciously, you know what? (laughs) It's okay, it's okay, we'll let it slide. But, yeah, I went to Poland for the week, so I was studying the Holocaust, and it was a great time. It was a, um, a, uh, uh, life goal accomplished, so I'm very happy with that. That's so cool. Um, And given the chance, I would go back if I can, but I would definitely want to go to Warsaw next time, up north. Let's go. I'll go with you instead. <laughs> I mean, I can probably t- teach you about it all on my own at this point. I've learned so much between prior to the class, like years prior to the class, between the class itself, and between being there. I was showing pictures to my family, and I heard my mom on the phone with one of my cousins, and she was saying how, like, when I was showing the pictures to everyone, I was telling them, like, what the picture was of and what happened. And my mom was like, she just, like, knows so much. She's so knowledgeable about the topic. And I was like, thanks, mom. Thanks. Aww. I try. I pay attention in class. Me. <laughs> so yeah, that um, back on the sports track. Um, I, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just really tired right now. I'm exhausted, but we're gonna work through this. You heard him. Uh, do I really want to put them on? Uh, so you know the thing is, like, we only have a few more minutes. So like, uh. I mean, they can talk during the update because I know Ernie's going to be interested in the Walking Dead one. All right, so you know, do, we'll do the update while Tim speaks. So hold on one hot sec. Which one are you on? You are on three. There you go. That's the number. I can't read. Okay, hold on one second. One. Hello. Hello. You are here. Yes, I am. It's me. Is it me you're looking for? <laughs> we're ugly. Reasons why we are going to be roommates. That was sick. You're sick. <laughs> I think uh, he. I was complimenting you. Oh, thanks. But it's okay though. Oh, though you meant like sick as in like bad. Oh, because your headphones aren't on. Whatever. No. Do you want to speak? Sure. Just scoot over a little bit. Okay, so I'm yeah, not gonna give over. my update. Now then. Yeah, do your update now, bro. Whoa. Okay. So we are doing the update. So I'm gonna save the Walking Dead for last because that's the best one. Um, my second update of my iPad load is. Spoiler free Walking Dead update. Yes, it's spoiler free, so don't worry. No need to worry. <laughs> Better be. It so is. It is. It's about next week, so it's, it's pretty interesting. But anyway, 
Um, <clears throat> a quick one is that Lady Gaga and Biden are teaming up for um, awareness on sexual assault, which I thought, which I th- which I thought was pretty interesting. <laughs> I'm like really good at talking. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I sound like the guy from SpongeBob, you know. Do do <laughs> no, that's me. <laughs> me but all the time. <laughs> yeah, Lady Gaga and Joe Biden are coming together to in Las Vegas. Um, Raising awareness about sexual assault, which, as we know, Lady Gaga, Lady Gaga, <coughs> I can't speak today, has been, you know, very. She's like spoken out about it a lot, especially since her last performance at the Grammys with her um, new song for the movie "Till It Happens to You" about sexual assault on campuses, which is. Someone just texted me, <laughs> um, <laughs> but like, yeah, that's like the big thing right now and so they're definitely promoting um the movie till it happens to you and they're focusing mainly on um college campuses sexual assault on college campuses so that is going to be on april 7th i'm not sure yet if they will um show it on tv or anything the waiting for more information which i'll tell you about it next week um but yeah i thought that was pretty interesting lady gaga and biden teaming up for that because i feel like definitely that is a big issue especially in college campuses with things like that so pretty cool pretty cool and um yeah so i'm gonna keep you updated on that and see what happens because i really hope that they do kind of air it somewhere because i'd be interested to see in what they're going to speak about and what if lady gaga is going to perform or anything i'm very interested in that so yeah, that was that, April 7th. Um, now the interesting one, The Walking Dead. So I saw it this week. Well, I always like am in between sleep and whatnot, but I s- ended up seeing some of it this week. And I've become really attached to the character Daryl. Oh I think, my god, I love Daryl. Right? Oh my god, I've, I've missed the whole season. Right? I, <laughs> like, the last season I saw was fun. No, was I thought that, I think he's awesome. And the last episode was insane. Oh my god, I'm not even going to spoil it for you, but like, oh my god. Oh, you just spoiled that he's still alive in season six. Right? He's still alive, but something happens. I'm, we're not sure yet. Until you can get that off of a commercial. It's not technically Whatever, it's anything. just... It was a crazy episode, and so this Sunday is the season finale of season six, and so they were talking about it, um, because they were on the carpet for Fear the Walking Dead, which is premiering after, so the director had commented, you've been watching the show for six seasons, and you think you know the rules, and you think you know how things are going to go, and you really don't. It's an element that's thrown that thrown in that changes everything and really puts you in a place where going into season seven and beyond you have no idea what to expect and i feel like we've established that that's the kind of that's kind of how the show works you never know what to expect but somewhere somehow we're upping the game a little bit and really kind of changing things in some really startling and scary ways so apparently there's supposed to be this big you know i'm not sure if it's a blowout or what happens or maybe we lose a character i'm not sure but there's a big thing that happens this Um, week on The Walking Dead. It says the episode will feature the debut of comic book villain Negan, who is going to be played by Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who is... Oh, I love Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Yeah, he's on The Good Wife. If anyone has seen that, he will be playing Negan in The Walking Dead. Um, Kirkman said, which is the director, there was no other actor alive who could have brought the character to life more. So that should be pretty interesting. He says... The only guy available, like, around alive that could play Negan. He's the guy that really, I think, embodies the character in a way that, because as brutal and as terrifying, as horrifying as Negan is as a human being, he's also incredibly likable and personable. And just the kind... And... I lost my place. And you kind of want to hang out with him while he's killing you, the producer said. It's really this weird dual thing. I mean, great example, he walks through the Walking Dead comic book, killing all of your favorite characters, and yet he's one of the most popular characters in the comic book. So you need an actor that can do that, and that's really hard to find. But Jeffrey Dean Morgan is somebody that has proven that he can handle that he can handle that, and having seen the things I've seen, he does accomplish that. So I think it's pretty interesting. I'm excited to see the next episode because I, even though I haven't seen it from season one, which like Ernesto and my brother are upset at me for because they've been telling me to, I've been catching up on the last couple episodes and it's been pretty good actually so i'm excited to see this i'm probably never gonna watch the first or second seasons because i already know all the stuff that happens now but you know what i really hope that negan kills carl 
Carl. That's what I have to say. Carl. Carl. Of course you love Carl. Oh, Why? Carl. He's, like, um, he's so. Carl. Like, Carl. 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 He, li- he likes the character solely because of how the dad yeah, announces. Yeah, when goes, Carl. Come here. Carl. Carl. I don't watch The Walking Dead, but I just love to say the word Carl. No, I don't like it. It's such a great show. I, I don't like it. I what show s- do you like? Big Bang Theory, Friends. It's, well, you like Big Bang Theory? Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, but I have to criticize that show. Like, I think don't that's you, the most overrated show da- on television you today. Don't you dare. I think it's very no. overrated. Michael, it is, it's Michael, terrible. It's Michael, the door is there. I don't think it's like Sheldon's it. annoying. Uh, yeah, I've, I've heard the names. Like, I don't Emmy, you remind me of him. <laughs> oh my! That's what my mom. My I'm not even kidding you, and I'm sure she's watching. She calls me Shelly because she says that I remind her of Sheldon. Yeah, Bazinga, he goes crazy. I am you. Sheldon. Okay, so you two can leave. The door is there. I'm pretty sure. I guarantee you my mother is laughing. Listen, right the now guy with the curly hair, hair was better on Roseanne. He was on. He was on Roseanne. Curly hair. Okay. Oh, yes. The more you know. Oh, Leonard. Yeah. Yeah, it was on Roseanne. Do you I know, didn't know fact, Johnny Goodman. He commented. Johnny Ernesto Goodman. took my phone and commented on his Instagram <laughs> and said, "You were better on Roseanne. I hate you in the Big Bang Theory." <laughs> and a bun- I'm not even kidding That's you. A bunch of people started sending hate to me on Instagram. <laughs> they were commenting. They were like, <clears throat> "How could you say that? How could you say Your that? Instagram bio says you're in the positivity movement. Yeah, okay. Like I'm like." It wasn't okay, even really quick. Why do people just take it so seriously? That's, it that's was, ridiculous. It was, yeah. it was dumb. It was dumb. Like they went, they went, they took the time you to go thought, to your you bio and said, yeah. "How dare you when you live the you positivity movement?" You would have, you would have thought that we insulted their mothers. Yeah. <laughs> like no, like it was. Just, yeah, right. and it, it was like people were serious about this, and I was like, okay, give me a break. A, it wasn't me. B, it wasn't it, me. first of all, if that's such a, if that's an opinion, that's an opinion. Like Kelly Cuoco is the only one I like. Kelly Cuoco is really cool. I, I like her. The blonde chick. Oh, I know you're talking about. See, the show doesn't pique my interest that much. Yeah, so I, really it doesn't, don't, I don't really don't care who the main character is. I'm it, sorry, I have to say. Eh, eh. Hey, go back you don't to your to other Kaylee update Quoco you had us for. Yes, yeah, so but back to the Before I have to go to class. Dead. Um, so that's pretty interesting. So definitely stay tuned. It will air, like I said, this Sunday at 9 p.m. on AMC. So, I mean, if you haven't watched it and you want to kind of want to watch the finale, by all means, if you have watched it, looking forward to it. Negan is going to be finally yes, be be announced, and, and he's going to come out. Because we were actually taking guesses, and we mm-hmm. thought that Negan mm-hmm. was going to be, like, the whole group of people and things like that. But apparently it's not. Now we know Negan is a person, so he is going to be announced. And we will see him for the season finale, which is going to be pretty interesting. And like I just found out right now, which is another mini update on Snapchat. Thank you, Snapchat. Empire season premiere is tonight at 9. So if you like mm-hmm. Empire, and I'm really excited because my mom has got me hooked on it. That last episode of the season finale of Empire was crazy, so I'm really excited, and I hope I get out I of work. I want to drive. Early. I've never watched it. It's really good. It's okay. actually really good. So I'm excited. I'm gonna watch the season premiere tonight, um, 9 p.m. If anyone was interested in that as well. So yeah, Walking Dead Sunday, Empire tonight. Sounds like a lit week. It does sound lit. That's All right. Really speaking of lit, sociology is lit. So I gotta go to sociology Shout class. Shout out to Professor Aldridge. <laughs> I love him. Sociology with Aldridge. Best time of the day. So He's a great man. He is a great man. We're going to see you next Wednesday. As same always. time, same place. You know how to reach us. And so, yeah, we will talk to you soon. We all we hope you all have a lovely, lovely rest of your week. I and hope my mom is watching. Um, just letting you know, I'm leaving to work now. We want to watch Empire, so please pick me up at the train. I will text you when I'm leaving work. Thanks. Oh, Public service announcement. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We will see you later. Bye. Bye.